Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Muhammad Arshad, and today I am in the Euro Tunnel. So the Euro Tunnel is actually. Let me show you. Actually, I don't know if you can see it. There's not really much to see. So that is the Euro Tunnel. I'm in a train in the Euro Tunnel. So today I want to tell you about something really, really important, uh, which I think will really help organisations and businesses to grow. Okay, and that has something to do with the Euro Tunnel. So, what is the Euro Tunnel? First of all, the Euro Tunnel is a partnership uh, of France and Great Britain. What they did is they basically had a water, which is the English Channel, separating the two countries. And what they decided is, why don't we build a tunnel? And with that tunnel, we will actually be able to take trains and, and uh, things through the water without using ships. So they made the tunnel. And now, you know, it's a huge, huge initiative where both countries, they use it uh, and they have, you know, thousands and thousands of people every single day uh, going across that as opposed to using a ferry or a plane. Um, so the reason why I want to bring it up today is because something like this, the Euro Tunnel, the connection uh, of an underground tunnel underwater between two countries, it's only available with one thing, and that is cooperation. Cooperation. If you imagine, if the French and UK government did not come together and cooperate, they would never be able to do something like this. And so cooperation is a thing I want to talk about, that it's such a huge thing in terms of a business growing itself, right? Because people out there have things that you need to become more successful and you have things out there which you can actually help others to become successful so cooperation is one of the fastest ways and collaboration to grow your business now what do I mean by cooperation and collaboration what I mean is that there are people out there who are going for the same market as you okay so let's imagine that uh, I serve I don't know uh, restaurants okay so my clients are restaurants there are other people out there who serve restaurants now of course imagine if I'm doing some sort of consultancy service for restaurants I won't want to cooperate or collaborate in most circumstances with someone else doing the same service as me it doesn't make sense because usually we're competing with each other but if I find someone who's like-minded and is working on the same industry then we can form some sort of cooperation, some sort of alliance. So for example, if I'm selling to restaurants, I could find someone who also sells to restaurants. So for example, every restaurant out there nowadays, they will have something called an epoch system, right? Epoch or epos system, where basically it will be a till and it will label all the food uh, and it will do all of that. So I could go to the person that actually sells these machines and say, hey, you sell to restaurants, I sell to restaurants, how about we have some sort of cooperation or alliance, and in that way, I will introduce you to people, and you can introduce people to others as well. And so in that same way, I need to put the, yeah. Can I have your tickets, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay, so someone just asked for my ticket. I thought she was. I thought I was getting in trouble because I didn't put my windows down. Because you're supposed to have your windows halfway down. I have no idea why, right? So anyway, I said to them that when it comes down to the collaboration, you have something similar to me, which is that you serve restaurants and I serve restaurants. So how about if we both serve restaurants together? Okay. Now it makes sense. Why? Because by them serving the restaurant and me serving the restaurant we both actually make money and we both benefit each other, right? Same way, it's not just that I would go to that person, I could go to the person that is dealing directly with them in selling maybe halal meat to the store, right? Because every restaurant out there, especially Muslim one, will have halal meat that's sold to them. So I could go to the guy that sells halal meat and says, I will introduce you to more restaurants, can you do the same for me? And so what you've done is you've actually taken your network of clients that you have and been willing to cooperate with someone else and by that cooperation you've actually expanded to a whole nother level. And of course you can give financial incentives, every time you find someone you could pay them, they could pay you and do some sort of commission. But the main thing is for you to sit down, this is the practical steps now, is to sit down and think about who are the other people or the other companies or organizations or charities that serve the people I serve, 
who I'm not in direct competition with. Who are the people that I serve and they serve and we're not in competition. And whoever they are, then it's about then identifying. After you've identified, you contact each of them and say, hey, I want to form a quick alliance where basically people who serve these people, we're going to get together and we're going to improve our businesses. We're going to improve our network. We're going to help each other out. How would you like to be a part of that? And doing that, I mean, Alhamdulillah, like so much business comes from referrals and people that you know and trust because they already have the relationship. They already have that trust. And so what that means is that you can borrow that trust from other audiences. And you see this everywhere. You can do this with emails through joint ventures. You can do it through webinars. You can do it through organizations. It doesn't matter. It's all about finding the right type of people that are selling to the same market and then sharing your resources and sharing uh, their resources with you and inshallah they'll be back barakah in that so jazakallah khair for watching if you haven't done so already please subscribe and if you haven't subscribed then you can still go to muslimceo.com and you can check out our free training there which is all about the people that you serve how best to serve them and how to convert more people inshallah jazakallah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah